Hi, it's Tristan here from Shopify Ninjas, and this is a quick overview of how to set up the Shopify bilingual theme to show everything on your website in two languages. Now, this is the demo store that we have set up with English and Spanish, and you'll see at the top right, if I click on to Español for Spanish, everything on the page changes across into Spanish. If I then click into English, everything flicks back to English. So there are a couple of steps to getting this set up. First one is to flip over to your theme settings. So this is just in the back end of your Shopify website. If you go into themes here on the left, and then to theme settings, So you'll see there are several different sections here and this allows you to set up a whole load of customization within your theme without touching the code. The section we're interested in right now is called bilingual. So if you open up that section, you'll see here we have whether we want to use language one and language two and what they are. So if you wanted to switch this off and just have one language on your store, you could do that by unchecking the box here. But for now, let's assume we do want to have two languages on the store. So that's where we've got English and Espanol. So that is where we see that on the front end, English and Espanol. Just to demonstrate, if I change this to, let's say, Deutsch for German. If I refresh this on the front end, you'll see this has now changed over to Deutsch as well. So that doesn't affect the translations. That's just what's being displayed on your website. So I'm going to change this back to Espanol now. Now underneath here are all of the pieces of text that appear throughout your store. So we've got things like account, details and order history, address, all. These are all the little bits and pieces of text that appear throughout your store that you need to provide translations for. So you'll see I filled these out myself for the demonstration store which is in Spanish. And we want to use a pipe character to separate the first language from the second language. So in my case I have the language one is English language 2 is Spanish. So here for account, I'm going to have the word account in English, then the pipe character here in the middle, and then cuenta. And that tells the theme that when we're in English mode, here we want to see account. When we're in Spanish mode, just refresh that. When we're in Spanish mode, we'll see cuenta instead. So we have account and then cuenta. And that's all set up here. So you just need to separate all of those with the pipe character, which is just above the return key on the keyboard. And you'll see I've done that for all pieces of text along here. So I've got all and then a pipe character and then todo. So for things like all products or all tags, that's where you're going to see todo in Spanish mode and all in English mode and so on. So you can fill these out. It does look a little bit long, but that doesn't take too long to, to fill out when you know the words. So fill out each of those snippets of text and that is step two completed. So the third step is to understand how to get page and product content in two languages. So I'm going to show you that now. So for a page, for example, uh, I'm just going to come in and create a new page. What we're going to do is write the content first in both languages and then we're going to wrap it in some tags, which just takes a second and that tells a theme, the theme to show language one or language two. So I'm gonna call this page sample and I'm gonna use a pipe character to separate the title, just like we did with the theme settings. Anything that's in a text box like this, you're gonna use the pipe character to separate the first and second languages. So I'm gonna call this sample pipe ejemplo for example in Spanish. Then I'm gonna write, uh, here is my page content. So that's obviously in English. And aquí está mi contenido en español. So that is my Spanish content. So this could be with images, it could be with tables or with text or with bold or however you want to do it, just as you would normally write your content. So write everything first. And once that's done, we're going to flip over to HTML mode here by clicking this little button. And that's where we need to wrap a div around each of the different languages. And this is all copy and paste from the demo store. There's instructions there as to exactly how to do this. 
And all you need to do is come over to bilingual setup. And if you scroll down, you'll see the section here about page content and products. So for the first language, we're going to wrap it in this div tag with hash language one. Paste that in there. So now we have opening a div, which is just a kind of a fence, a container for your languages in the code. Div hash language one. And then we're going to close that div at the end of the English content. So now this is your English content. For the second language, we're going to do div hashtag lang2. And I'm going to close that div as well. So slash div. So here we have English content wrapped in that tag, Spanish content wrapped in that tag. And I'm going to hit save. Now, if we look at that on the front end of the store, You'll see here, here is my page content in English. The title is also sample. If I flip over to Spanish mode, everything switches. There's my ejemplo for my, my page title and the content. Aquí está mi contenido en español. So that is for anything to do with pages or products or blog content. That's exactly how you do it. Just write your content and then wrap these little div tags around them and that will manage everything for you. So the last step is for the checkout text. Now there's no way for us to manage the checkout text so that you can show one language and switch between them because Shopify doesn't let us access that while people are on the store. So what we need to do is to add translations for each of the pieces of text that are in the checkout. So let me show you where that would come up. If I'm looking at an example product here, and if I hit add to cart, so I'm just getting something into the checkout process here so you can see what it will look like. Continue as a guest. So here you'll see I've entered your contact email or su correo electronico. So all of these fields you can see have both English and Spanish. So this is how we're going to set it up so that people will be able to see both on your store. I think ideally in the future it would be great if Shopify let us access this so we can do the language switch like we can on the website. But for now, uh, this is the, the best solution. At least your customers can still see both languages and they'll still be able to see that uh, the second language is on there. So to do that, all we do is come back into the admin section and we're going to go to settings and checkout on the left hand side. Then if we scroll down, there's checkout language. So you would hit create a new one and you'll be able to edit all of this. I'm going to show you the one that I've already created. So, if I search for the email text that I had before, this is your contact email. So here's where I've entered the text, your contact email, su correo electronico. For now, you'll see I haven't filled all of these out because on my store, not all of them are being shown at the moment. Um, but for whichever content's being shown on your store, I would suggest have a look at the main sections in your checkout, figure out which text is being shown, and that's where you need to come in here and add the translations. So just as a refresher, here we're in the checkout process. You can see I've got your contact email, su correo electronico, and that corresponds to here, your contact email, su correo electronico. Same thing for if I look for company, empresa. Here under company, I've typed in company, empresa. The last thing to note here is you will see some percentage symbols in this checkout section. And that's just loading some kind of information from Shopify. So if I can find a good example for you. Here, for example, this step percentage, this is saying step one of two. And that translates onto the front end here. So if you see anything with a, with a percentage, just keep it in the same spot 
and just place your translation text around it. So previously this was step percentage D of percentage D. I've just changed that to be step slash paso so that it's step one of two in Spanish. So once you've filled out those four sections, your store will now be set up to function bilingually on Shopify. Now one last thing you can do if you like is in your notifications, these are the emails that get sent out to customers when they purchase. There's no way at the moment to have those switch because we can't control that uh, when they check out. So what you want to do is come in here and either create, just copy and paste this as a second version in your other language, or you could place your translations underneath here, like gracias por comprar and so on in the order emails here. So that's not a, an obligatory step, but if you want to have your emails going out in the second language as well, I would suggest adding the translations into this existing template. If you have any other questions, just come to ShopifyNinjas.com and check out the demo store where we'll have a lot of other documentation to help you along the way too. Thanks.